Arlen here, joined by our analyst, Greg Anthony. Plus, reporting from the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. OG Ananobi is out there with Hart. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's Mikkel Bridges. And it's Brunson in at point guard. And for Los Angeles, Harden and Mann are their guards. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. And it's Jones in at the small forward position. One thing, Doris, that should attract a lot of attention in this game, that matchup at the guard position. That is going to be special. Well, that's the point of attack on both ends of the floor. And it's always fun to see skilled and capable guards duel it out. It is like watching a great chess match. Now, here's Ananobi. Pass to Hart. That's a two from Towns. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. Carl Anthony Towns, such a great jump shooter, doesn't take him any time to get set up. Outside Leonard. Back to Harden. Yep, that one goes. <laughs> I'll tell you what, James Harden has got the kind of frame that he can absorb contact and play right through it. Now here's Brunson. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on James Harden. And one thing among many doors that's so impressive about Jalen Brunson, the way he goes to work in the paint. Wow. Kevin, at his size, you have got to be crafty. You've got to have great footwork and great patience. You've got to be willing to work in a crowd. What he does is really impressive. And the first one at the line is good. Now, Jalen Brunson approaches a point guard position as a scorer, and boy, this guy can light you up. And both free throws, good for Brunson. Recently, Doris, the Clippers have had their most successful stretch in franchise history. Well, think about it, Kevin. They've only missed the playoffs twice, going all the way back to 2012. They made their first conference finals in team history back in 2021. Not bad for a franchise that had one of the worst win-loss records in league history. Just four to shoot. Yep, that one goes in there. Harden's got his second basket. And honestly, that was a great effort defensively, but Harden just with that unique ability to get his shot off under any circumstances. Now here's Brunson. Towns kicks to Ananobi. The three-pointer off the mark. There's some defense for you. For someone who's as good at shooting the three ball as he is, you, you need a defender who's equally good at guarding against it. Here's Leonard. Lets it go with a three. Offensive rebound, and Jones slams it in. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Greg. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. So it's the Knicks now after the Clippers pick up two. Ananobi kicks to Hart. Towns a screen on Jones. Hart, that's good. You can't afford to let Hart get going from deep. He's ready to shoot it when given the opportunity. Harden the pass to Leonard. Back to Harden. Zubats a screen on Brunson. Harden finds Zubats. And the dunk by Zubats. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand Woo, one of his favorite moves right there guys now here's Brunson here's Towns it's hauled in by Zubats maybe he rushes that just a little bit who knows but he couldn't have gotten a better look than that Harden the pass to Zubats Harden sets the pick for Zubats Leonard against Ananobi and it's Leonard missing. 
Boy, if you're going up against this guy in this close a range, you've got to defend with everything you've got. A tremendous job defensively. There's a screen. Bridges inside the three-point line. Money from the wing. Timeout, timeout. Well, that's a bad shot until it goes through the net. Started. And the timeout called here by Teron Liu. He wants to make some adjustments to the game plan, clearly. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to man. Stolen by Brunson. And a fast break now for the Knicks. And the rejection by Harden. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you gotta love that energy. And here's Brunson outside. It's held in by Zubats. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. They trail by one. And it's Leonard missing. Well, we didn't see the same kind of control we're used to seeing from him. This guy is usually a tremendous finisher. Bridges outside. Count it good. One tough customer. Bridges Fighting for the basket in close. The Clippers have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. And there's the foul. It'll go on Josh Hart. That is his first foul of the game. Man finds Jones. Back to man. Down low. Here's Harden. And is on a bounce to the Clippers as the Clippers retain possession. Pass to Leonard. Shoots over Ananobi. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Totally dialed in. Leonard makes quick work from that mid-range. And an OB outside. Brunson a screen on Leonard. And an OB has the open look. And they recover it. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. And right now you love the chess match, right? The ability of each side to adjust to what the other is doing. Here's Leonard. Jones sets the pick for Harden. Just five on the clock. Deflects the pass. And a fast break now for New York. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. The Knicks have gone two for two in the game at the line. Been at the line last season, about 78% as a team. Pretty solid numbers. No good on that one.
and he's good on the second. Here is Harden. Pass to Zubats. The Clippers again turning it over. New York leading by four. Outside, Towns. Bridges outside. Takes the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Kevin, thank you. OG Ananobi has become a great complimentary offensive weapon. Coach Tom Thibodeau says he's got a really good feel for it. He's very unique in that sense. He knows how to read defenses and how to attack. Kevin, timeout, his timeout. acquisition has taken this team to another level at Bart. both ends of the court. Back to you. Yeah, D.A., it's been phenomenal. No question about that whatsoever. Thank you so much. And Teron Liu calls timeout. This will give them a chance to discuss some potential alterations. And it's the Clippers with the ball. Six-point game. Because Kawhi Leonard has such a well-rounded offensive game, it's easy for him to put the defense in a bad position, draws contact there. The Clippers shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. That free throw, no good. And, and Doris, what's amazing to me, if you look at Kawhi Leonard's production year to year, there's no drop-off. There's certainly consistency to what Kawhi Leonard does. When he entered the league, he was a defensive force from the outset. And then he built methodically his offensive game, free throws, post-game, and now range shooting. He is a complete basketball player. Good on the second free throw. When Kawhi Leonard is healthy, Doris, no one has a bigger effect on a game than this great two-way player. There's no question, Kevin, because of his length and savvy on the defensive end. He can swallow up individual offensive matchups. He's that good defensively. And then you think to his transition on the offensive end from a player who was a standstill shooter to now who you can run your offense through. And it's Brunson missing. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Harden against Brunson. Let's it go from deep, and James Harden good for three. Harden's got seven points. Well, James Harden, a sniper through and through. You give him even a little sliver of daylight, and that ball is gone. Brunson kicks to Bridges. Pass to Towns. Six on the shot clock. Now, here's Hart over Jones. The Clippers grab the miss. Zubats has got five rebounds tonight. Jones finds man. Harden outside. Leonard with the ball. He's guarded by Ananobi. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Leonard, that's for two, and good. He got the English that time as it falls. Leonard's got the game tied up here for the Clippers. For New York, they've gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Bridges passes to Brunson. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one goes on Ananobi. This guy is an absolute master at getting fouled. Whenever James Harden attacks with certainty, good things happen for him. 
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Talk about confidence. Greg, what do you think about Harden's quote from a couple years ago when he said, I'm not a system player. I am the system. <laughs> Kevin, I laughed when I heard it because most guys couldn't say that. But Harden absolutely can. He's an elite scorer turned elite passer. Your offense has to orbit around him when he's on the floor. McBride with the ball, guarded by Harden. Pass to Hart. Now Tao. New York again turning it over. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. What do you got for us, D.A.? Well, Teron Lou and I had a few minutes to share, and they're focused on limiting one of the best shooting bigs ever in Carl Anthony Towns. Now, Coach said earlier, Towns is a machine on the offensive end. We'll try to make Cat into a passer and get the ball out of his hands. We'll see if they can accomplish that. Kevin? Thank you, David. New York trailing. Hart with it. Leonard picks him up. Bamba with the block. Well, this is one of Bamba's big-time strengths. Send it back, Mo. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejections. Wow. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. And the Knicks making a change here. Robinson's checked in. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. He wants a minute here to get things straightened out with his team. Hart finds Bridges. Back to Hart. Leonard with the steal. And now running up the court. Leonard pushing it up. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Why, such a fiery competitor. He won't back down in the face of adversity. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Clippers. What's up? Uh, how about the ferocity we have seen from them on defense? I mean, they're looking to contest every shot that goes up. And they've also done a really good job taking advantage of miscues. Their defense has been stifling in this one. Knicks trail by five. McBride with the ball. Robinson a screen on Porter. Here's McBride out to Bridges. Here's Coffey on the wing, Porter. Pass to Bamba. Here's Coffey. No good on the triple. Bridges against Porter. Bridges misses. Clippers leading by five. Porter passes to Bamba. Good and a nice assist from Porter. Well, what a job by Mo Bamba to get to his area. Get on the interior, pick your spots. Mo Bamba does just that. And here is Bridges. And that one, good. Well, instead of forcing it all the way to the cup, he just goes with that little teardrop. The Knicks have gone three of four at the free throw line tonight. He's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Leonard finds Bamba. Now Porter. And he drives in. Outside for Batum. Outside Porter. Goes back up. Coffee can't get it to go. Knicks trail by four. Now McBride. He has yet to score. Inside. Stolen by Bamba. 
outside Porter from the arc. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Nice pull up Jay there by Porter. Keeping the defense on their toes and striking fast. Robinson a screen on Porter. Here's McBride. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. They lead by seven. Bamba dishes to Porter. Fires from deep. It's rebounded by Ananobi. The Knicks shooting 39% in the early minutes of this game. Pass to Robinson. Here's McBride. He's covered by Leonard. And McBride gets it to go. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Now, here's Porter. That one dropped for his second bucket. Mark him two for four. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Bridges deciding where to go with it. With one on the clock, James Harden getting it done for the Clippers. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Right back after this break. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, what's your take on the Clippers so far? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And that's how they controlled the first quarter. I thought they were the much more physical team. Harden and Mann are their guards. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. And it's Jones in at the three spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And too much time in the lane, they get called for the three-second violation. Knicks trail by seven. Now here's Brunson. Towns at the elbow. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Leonard. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Leonard's got the lead up to nine now for the Clippers. And an OB outside. Brunson barreling in, and they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. The Knicks shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. for Brunson. It seems every season, Doris, we have players speak out on being unhappy with their role. Well, consider, Kevin, that if you're one player on a roster in the NBA, how coveted each of those spots are, but also how competitive they are. You don't get there without that nature, which means you want to play. Shooting two. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Known for his incredible defense. Leonard's huge hands and timing really helped make an impact on that end. Oh, 
Both shots good from the strike. You want to contest this guy's shot, but you absolutely don't want to send him to the line. He will make you pay. Back to Brunson. Towns sets the pick for Brunson to the inside. The jump hook. It's hauled in by Zubats. Zubats has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Leonard kicks to Harden. Five to shoot. On the wing, man. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. And the Clippers lead by 11. Fantastic look, but that's a bit redundant for James Harden. Ananobi outside. Bridges for three. Good on the three-point shot. Bridges has got 10. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Screen by Zubats. Harden against Brunson. Kicks it out to Leonard. Again, the Clippers. The why all business right now. Defense better get started. It's going to be a long night. Bridges outside. Back to Brunson. Towns a screen on Harden. Here's Brunson. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Clippers leading by 10. Leonard finds Harden. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. And that one is good from Zubats. Zubats has got his second bucket of the game to go. Yeah, that's Zubats just carving out space with that big frame. Pass to Hart. Back to Brunson. Tipped away. Stolen by Harden. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And Hart has it in the corner. Brunson scanning the floor. Towns kicks to Hart. And another shot. Good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Towns. Harden outside. Leonard the pass to man. Back to Leonard. Oh, tried to dunk it home, but drew the foul. It'll go to the line. Uh, very difficult to just stop Kawhi inside. He's a powerful player who commits to his attacks. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And, and no matter what, one of the big positives they can take away from this game is how well they perform at the line. A different look for New York. Achua, he's checked in for OG Ananobi. And Landry Shamit subbed in for Mikael Bridges. <laughs> Leonard hits them both. Knicks trail by 12. And Tom Thibodeau decides to call timeout. Looking for a breather and maybe just one or two things to talk about. Norman Powell's checked in for Kawhi Leonard.
Brunson kicks to Achua. And there is a whistle. That'll go on Derek Jones. That'll be his second foul of the game. Some nice passing by New York here. To the wing right side. Shot clock at five. It's good, and the Clipper lead is cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Carl Anthony Towns. That's just outstanding floor awareness from Jalen Brunson. Doesn't matter if he's at the one or the two. He always makes the right play. Now here's Harden. Nine points in the game so far. Stolen by Brunson. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thank you, Kevin. The game is certainly going international, Commissioner Adam Silver says. With basketball's exponential growth, it's now truly a global game. We're fortunate that the very best in the world want to play in a single league. And Kevin, the NBA continues to draw talent from all corners of the globe. And David, you've been all over the globe, and the talent level, undeniable. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, they've absolutely dominated that category in this one, and it's reflected in the score. Now, Towns. After Norman Powell, missed from long range. From down in the low post, it goes. Powell's got the lead up to 12 now for the Clippers. And talking about the Knicks, G.A., do you feel they took a step forward last season? I do. I mean, losing in seven in the conference semis with all the injuries they had that, that really kind of set them back they ended that game seven with the Pacers missing four of their starting five so no doubt expectations will be high Harden the pass to Jones back to Harden from deep three point land from beyond the arc and then some Harden's got 12 points in the game. Oh, my goodness. From the next zip code, James Harden. Towns a screen on Harden. Here's Brunson. Drops it in from 14 feet away. Brunson's got four points this quarter. They seem to concede that shot, and his response is, thank you very much. Here's Harden. It's deflected, and he recovers it. Powell sets a screen for Jones. Well, good with the triple. Knicks trail by 13. Brunson with it. He's got eight. And towns the bucket on the assist from Brunson. Ten points for him. I'll tell you this. Nice play by Towns. This guy can get it done. Back to the basket or facing up doesn't matter. And Teron Liu calls timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Hamid Bamba, he's checked in for Zubac. Batum comes in for Jones. Amir Coffey's checked in for Mann. And Porter subbed in for James Harden. And then for New York, Mitchell Robinson comes in for Towns. And Miles McBride subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Well, Norman Powell has proven to be capable as a scorer. All three levels are part of his game. That time goes to the three ball. Here's McBride, guarded by Porter. Robinson kicks to Achua. Hart the pass to McBride. Gets the three-pointer to fall. McBride's got his second bucket. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here's Porter. He has five. The shot by Powell, no good. Hard against Batum. McBride passes to Shamit. The three. The Clippers grab the miss. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Here's Porter, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. 
Nice to see Porter Jr. get aggressive, not settle for a J and take it into the defense. This is his first free throw of the game. Shoot two. First free throw is good. Greg, like looking back to last season, the Clippers had one red hot stretch. That's right. They, they went on a 26 and 5 run between December and February. It, it finally showed how dangerous that team could be when healthy. Knicks trail by 13. Here's McBride. He's got five. And it's off from three point range. Here's Coffee. Pass to Porter. Powell with it. Bamba setting the pick for Powell. Rebounded by Hart. And so it's Hart who brings up the ball for the New York Knicks. Here's McBride. Got a piece of it. Robinson finds Shemp. They grab their own miss. Pass to Hart. There's a screen by Achua. Hart, no good. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And this is where you hope that he can find something easy so he can see the ball go through the net. Now here's Porter. He has seven. Now here's Paul. Defended by Hart. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. How about the strength and explosive nature of Norman Powell? This guy excels at absorbing contact. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. Kata Bates Diops checked in for a chew -up. Well, one thing there's no question about is that Norman Powell is a gifted athlete. Now it's about rounding out that game, particularly his shooting. Here's McBride. Five points in the game. Pass to Shamit. Cranes the three-pointer. Shamit's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. And again, no good by the Clippers. Knicks trail by 13. There's 154 left to play here in the half. Batum against Robinson. Well, if the defense gets sloppy on Mitchell Robinson, he has the kind of length and athleticism to make him tough to guard. The Knicks have shot 67% from the line tonight, going for six. He misses the free throw. Doris, the way this Knicks roster was put together, they have a great level of physicality. Kevin, if you think about it, with the way the rules are starting to trend back toward that level of physicality, they've got an opportunity to be successful. They also have a big-time star in Jalen Brunson, so there's a lot to like about the future. And he sinks the second. And here is Los Angeles now. At one point, they led by 16. To the paint, stolen by Robinson. And now the Knicks on the break. Here's Hart. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assist. And that's now six points for Josh Hart. 
Leonard against Hart. And Leonard gets it to go. And the Clippers lead by 12. Uh, unwilling to let up even for a moment. That's his killer instinct just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. The Knicks have shot five of eight from the foul line. OG and Anobi's checked in for the Knicks. Good, McBride. And a fun run by the Knicks in the playoffs. But Doris, horrible injury luck ended their season. Kevin, borderline absurd bad luck for injuries. You think about it, Julius Randle goes down in the regular season. And then in the playoffs alone, Mitchell Robinson, OG Ananobi, and Boyan Bogdanovich all miss significant time. And who can forget Jalen Brunson getting hurt in that game seven? Almost unreal bad luck. And so it's New York with it. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Just five to shoot. Here's Ananobi. Rebound, Kawhi Leonard. Boy, no idea why he went with the fadeaway. Had a clean look at the basket. Hey, hey, right here. The kick out to Porter. Fires the three. Good on the triple. Porter's got 10 points in the game. Shooting while in rhythm. Porter Jr. has an impressive understanding for when to let that thing fly. For the three. Here's Bates Diop. And so it's Los Angeles. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. They've had such great ball movement and shot selection. And it's led to a terrific field goal percentage. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Tips going against us. Thanks so much, David. And we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Kawhi Leonard really has his fingerprints all over this one. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. One of the things every player is after is efficiency at the offensive end. And boy, this young guy has done just that. On the court for the Knicks. Josh Hart out there with OG Ananobi. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Towns. And it's Bridges in at the shooting guard. And it's Zubac with the extra effort. Six points for him. Yeah, Zubac knows his job. And that's to do the dirty work. Get into the offensive glass. It's stolen by Jones. On the wing, man. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. Bridges outside. Back to Brunson. Down to five on the shot clock. GA, as you know, Jalen Brunson is a second-generation NBA player. Yeah, his dad, Rick Brunson was an 11-year vet who also played overseas and eventually settled in as a coach in this league. So Jalen grew up in those NBA locker rooms. Okay. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Okay. That 
That one falls for Brunson. Both free throws, good for Brunson. Clippers leading by 12. Outside, Jones. Brunson against Harden. There's the screen. A three from Leonard. That shot misses. And here's Bridges. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Towns kicks to Ananobi. Bridges inside. Defended by Mann. Shot clock at six. From deep, Brunson. And Jones pulls it down. L.A. has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Harden's shot is good. Well, the pre-shot preparation of James Harden is exceptional. He knows in this instance that as soon as the ball touches his hands, he's got to be ready to fire. Now here's Brunson. He's got 10 on an OB. And Ananobi stays with it. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Outside, Jones. Pass to Leonard. A three ball. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Leonard's got 21 in the game. This team relies on that shot from Kawhi. Bridges outside. On the wing, Ananobi. Here's the three. Rebound by the Clippers. Harden's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside, Jones. Sends it back. OG Ananobi is fast off his feet. Seven foot two wingspan says twice on the pipes. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And that has got to help the morale of this team. Let's see if that sets up a run here. Pass to man. Six to shoot. Jones with the screen on Bridges. Here's Mann. Another one falls for the Clippers. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Knicks trail by 18. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Harden against Brunson. With the floater, and the rejection by Harden. And Leonard gets it to go. He's got 23. Kawhi's such a gifted offensive player. How about that dribble drive move? So nice. Pass to Hart. Runs in a screen on Jones. Hart the pass to Bridges. The putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. This is what you call putting it all together on the offensive end. Go ahead, Mikhail Bridges. Harden kicks to Zubats. Leonard on the wing. There's the three. On his 15th shot attempt, he makes his ninth basket. Shooting a healthy 60% tonight. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Zubats. A sensational block that definitely deserves another look. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Ananobi passes to Bridges. Bridges double team. Hart wide open. He fires. His three pointers off the mark. Los Angeles leading by 21. 
Contact to man. Harden outside. Five on the clock. Jones from outside. Gets rebounded by New York. Towns has got rebound number eight now on the night. For three, Bridges hits in and good for his sixth field goal in ten attempts. You've got to be aware and stay attached to Mikel Bridges beyond that arc. This guy dangerous as a shooter. Harden finds Jones to the middle. Zubats in the post. Towns on him. A three from Leonard. And Carl Anthony Towns pulls it down. Towns has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ananobi, good. OG Ananobi, because of his athletic ability, can be special in the open floor. Nice finish there. Good ball movement here by the Clippers. Kicks it out to Leonard. Shoots over Ananobi. Off the left rim and out. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for New York. Good work defensively by Harden. Los Angeles leading by 16. Leonard with the ball. Bridges covering. To the paint. Zubats against Towns. And there's the call on Carl Anthony Towns. That's foul number two for him. Powell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Achua, he's checked in for New York. to Powell outside Leonard just five to shoot and two free throws coming up unable to get that one to go with all the content it's going to be on Precious Achua oh, the, the officials are all over that one and breaking down some numbers here the hustle stats for Los Angeles they've been running away from the defense all game I mean loads of points here off the fast break and the opposition just hasn't been able to adjust to that aggressive play style. And the other thing for this team today, they have a bunch of second chance points. They're turning misses into makes. A free throw good from Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers making a change here. Bombas checked in. Free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. And so it's New York with it. They trail by 18. Brunson kicks to Bridges. Towns high post. Unloads from 13. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Pass to Bamba. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. That almost looked like bad communication. You hate to see that kind of mistake. And Los Angeles with some changes. Batum comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Kevin Porter subbed in for James Harden. Landry Shamit's checked in for the Knicks. Now here's Brunson. He's got 10. Stolen by Bamba. On the wing, Porter. Brunson covering. And that one's good by Porter. When he's going... KPJ is a deadly offensive player. Can beat you in so many ways, including off the bounce. Shamit with it. Defended by Jones. Bridges passes to Shamit. Back to Bridges. Shots over Powell. That's good from 17 feet away. 17 points for Mikael Bridges. Well, with the high release point on Mikel Bridges' jumper, it's very hard to contest. Just a matter of being consistent now. Knocked away. Ananobi with it. Bamba picks him up. Brunson outside. Over Porter. And Brunson the basket on the assist by Ananobi. What a confident stroke from Jalen Brunson. This guy doesn't have to dominate with the ball in his hands. One of the best 3 and D wings in the league. Well, let's start with OG Ananobi, who excels from the corner. 
And, and Kevin, about 45% on quarter threes the last couple seasons. So OG can space that floor horizontally. That's in addition to his elite defensive ability. And that one's good by Porter. And we know Kevin Porter Jr. is capable of having big nights. And the way he's playing, this could be one. There's a screen by Achua. Brunson goes in. Banked in off the glass. Brunson's got 14 points. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Porter inside. Brunson covering. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. The defender getting a little over anxious there, but Porter causes that anxiety with his high-level scoring ability. He makes the first. Amir Coffey's checked in for Derrick Jones. And then for New York, Carl Anthony Towns comes in for Achua. And Keita Bates Diops subbed in for Landry Shamit. No good on the second free throw. Knicks trail by 18. Towns finds Brunson. Shoots over Powell, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Yeah, we talk about having a high shot IQ. Jalen Brunson just in four shots. You want to concede the mid-range jumper? He's more than content to take it. Now here's Powell. He's got eight inside. Here's Coffey. Plays it up and banks it in. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Pass to Towns. Back to Brunson. There's the lob to Towns. Stolen by Bamba. Porter inside. And he drops it in from the low post. got eight here in the quarter defenses try to test Porter's physicality but he's adjusted well to it now the Clippers moving it up here's coffee that shot is off good D by Ananobi next trail by 20 runs in the pass to Bridges here he goes it's hauled in by coffee Los Angeles has gone to the three-point shot eight times already in the second half and hit four of them. Porter passes to Batum. Now here's Powell from outside the arc. Drills it from outside. Powell's got 11 points. This guy is always shot ready. Norman Powell's instincts as a scorer are exceptional. Brunson with a clean look. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Well, you're trying to answer the three, but you force up a shot that he would have been better off passing up. Quarter outside. It's rebounded by Ananobi. And so Ananobi will bring it up for New York. Pass to Bridges. Right side Towns. Can they get it? And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, he's got moves and counter moves inside. Towns makes the defender pick his poison. For New York, they have shot the ball pretty well from the line going 8 of 11. The first one falls. Well, we know this. Carl Anthony Towns was a go-to option from the very first moment he stepped in the lines of an NBA court. The versatility is so difficult to match up against. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Zubats is checked in for Mohamed Bamba. Leonard comes in for Nicholas Batum. And James Harden subbed in for Porter. And Towns drops them both. 
Clippers leading by 21. And here's Leonard. And he has 28 points for the game. And he connects with the jumper. Leonard's got 12 now in this quarter. Leonard is consistent at staying aggressive on the offensive end. Bridges outside. Pass to Bates to you. Powell against Ananobi. Buries it from three-point range. Ananobi's got seven points in the game. You know, the assist is the key part of that play. The pace on the bounce pass, perfect. Here's Leonard. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Well, with a seven-foot-three wingspan, Kawhi Leonard can beat even good defense with that reach. He's been knocking down free throws tonight, going eight for nine. And a lot of his points coming by way of the free throw. Brunson over Harden. Great look there, but off target. Kawhi Leonard has been on display for the Clippers. And his big game just keeps getting bigger. That quarter sees him get over 30 points. We'll return shortly. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Harden and Mann are their guards. Down in the block, it'll be Kawhi next to Zubac. And it's Jones in at the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Ananobi, good. Nice job by OG Ananobi to be aggressive from distance. Now here's Harden. And here's Leonard from three. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ananobi's got four rebounds now tonight. Hart the pass to Towns. Count the basket. 14 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Well, just tremendous persistence from Carl Anthony Towns. Even under duress, the ability to stay focused. Pass to man. Bridges with the steal. And now the fast break. Bridges with the ball. Jacks up a three. Rebound by the Clippers. Jones has got his fourth rebound in this one. Now, man, defended by Bridges. Back to Jones. Here's Hart. A putback by Anobi. It's good on the putback. Uh, you know this about OG Ananobi. This guy's going to give you tremendous effort nightly. Really good job on the glass. Harden finds Jones. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. No good. They had a chance to end the run there. Oh, just incredible. That spin shook him loose from the defender, but he just couldn't gather his balance there to follow through with the shot. Well, making sure you get the shot opportunity through contact, Carl Anthony Towns goes to the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one.
good on both. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And Teron Liu calls timeout. He knows every possession is critical now. You're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, during the last break, I heard Tyrone Liu talking with his team. He told his players, I love the energy right now. You look like you're having fun out there. Keep playing for each other because our chemistry looks great right now. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. Now, here's Leonard. Lock at six. <laughs> Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. This is a small forward who, because he's 230 pounds, can hold his own down in the low post. That is nicely done. On the free throw, no good. Knicks trail by 16. Towns, the pass to on an open. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And the muscle that Ananobi possesses, fantastic at gutting it out through contact and finishing. And with each passing season, DB, OG Ananobi seems to keep getting more and more versatile. You are exactly right, Kevin. What we know unequivocally is this is one of the best cross-positional defenders in the league. One of those guys that's truly capable of guarding one to five. But his willingness to be a three-point threat, an offensive rebound, and put it on the deck is exactly what you're talking about. That's good for Mananobi. And so Harden will bring it up for Los Angeles. Pass to Zubats. Here's Mann. Outside Leonard. Kicks it out to Harden. Tries again. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one goes on Ananobi. An absolute master at drawing contact. Defenders get nervous guarding James Harden. This is why. throw good James Harden James Harden brings tremendous versatility he can score it he can distribute whatever you need from him offensively he can provide it and both free throws good for James Harden and here are the Knicks they're on a 12 to 4 run. Brunson outside. Bridges sets the screen for Brunson. Off target from three point range. Clippers leading by 15. Leonard inside. Brunson covering. And Leonard gets it to go. Yeah, Kawhi Leonard has found so many ways to score. He can slip around you with his length. He can go through you with his strength. This guy's so tough to guard. New York, no good that time either. For Los Angeles, they've gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Harden looking it over. Back to Leonard. Shoots over Brunson. Not enough on that one as it misses. Knicks trail by 17. 
And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Kawhi Leonard. OG Ananobi is tremendously athletic. And when he plays with this level of aggression, it's hard not to foul him. Shooting two. First one falls for him. He hits one and misses one, each at the line. Clippers leading by 16. Harden with it. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Yeah, James Harden's ability to finish with either hand. So crafty. Understanding how to navigate around defenses when he's in the painted area. Now, here's Ananobi. New York, no good that time either. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. They get it back. Zubac, no good. Knicks trail by 18. Bridges outside. Over Jones. Out to Brunson. Second chance shot. And that's two points on the layup. Generously listed as 6-1, Jalen Brunson knows his way around the inside and painted area. Look out. Now here's Leonard. Harden with a screen on Ananobi. Here's Leonard. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. The Knicks making a switch here. Sims is checked in. Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Both good from the line that time. And here's Brunson. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Pass to Sims. There's a good screen. Towns, a screen on Leonard. Shot clock at five. And the rejection by Leonard. And those long arms and huge hands. Leonard has all the tools he needs to erase shots. Big miscommunication on defense he recognizes it and quickly takes advantage and that's typical of this guy he's always reading the situation reacting quickly and capitalizing Kata Bates Diops checked in for New York Free throw good from Kawhi Leonard. Knicks trail by 21. Pass to Hart. Here's Bates Diop. He's covered by Leonard. Bates Diop, the pass to Towns. Shoots over Zubats. And he can't bank that one in. And here's Los Angeles. They're on an 11-3 run. Here's Jones. An easy two points on the layup. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. 
New York's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. Now, here's Hart. Brunson outside. Six on the shot clock. Towns for three. Sinks the triple. Towns has got nine points here in the second half. This is where you have to keep feeding Carl Anthony Towns. He's in an incredible rhythm. He's already got huge numbers. Keep feeding the big man. Here's Leonard. And again, the Clippers good for two. Uh, Kawhi Leonard is efficient with his shooting form. Makes it look easy right there. Runs in the pass to Towns. Hart kicks to Brunson. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. Clippers leading by 19 points. Zubats a screen on Brunson. Pass to Leonard. The Knicks pull it in. Bates Diop's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Back to Bridges. And there's a whistle. That goes on Mikel Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. Harden against Brunson. But three. Harden no good. Knicks trail by 19. Brunson goes in. Yes, that goes in. Boy, how about that conversion by Jalen Brunson? This has become a staple of his game. Clippers leading by 16. Pass to man. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. New York has gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on 3-point attempts here in the 4th. Towns for 3. Not going to go that time. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the 3. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Kicks it out to Jones. It's good from long range. Jones has got five points in the quarter. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Bridges outside. Man passes to Harden. Bridges with the steal. And now the fast break. Bridges with the ball. to Hart. Some nice passing by New York here. Fades away. And it's Towns missing. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Leonard's got 46 points. Brunson kicks to Hart. Trying to find Towns. Gets it to him. And, and another great rebound there. I mean, he's pulled down a ton of them. And, and the size issue has not been a problem here today. Now, here is Harden. Pass to Zubats. 
Here's Mann. Just five on the clock. It's tipped. Brunson outside. Bridges, no one around him. It falls. Nice feed that time from Brunson. Brunson's got four assists in the game. Outside Leonard. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, he earned that one. I mean, taking the hit and still able to get that one to go down. The Knicks shooting about 43% here in the fourth quarter. Bridges outside. Pass to Bates Dion. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. A big group substitution here for the Clippers. Bamba is checked in for Zubats. Batum comes in for Jones. Amir Coffey's checked in for Mann. And Porter subbed in for James Harden. And a new group in for the Knicks. Mitchell Robinson's checked in for Towns. Achua comes in for Josh Hart. Landry Shamit's checked in for Mikael Bridges. And Miles McBride subbed in for Jalen Brunson. Now here's Porter. Pass to Coffey. Outside Leonard. Five to shoot. Good, he hits again. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. And as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Clippers. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water a clinic was put on display here today and what a tremendous standout performance it was for leonard they simply can't stop him right now this guy playing with passion and focus here's mcbride the clippers get in the bucket to the inside got a piece of it porter with the steal lays it in off the breakaway finishing strong this is how you want to close things out no question they've gotten hot at exactly the right time clutch play on a team level now here's a chua here's shamit off target from outside and it's the clippers ball they're on a 16 to 5 run here the shot and game clock separated by four here's porter porter can't get that one to fall Pass to McBride. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And now, let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline for our player of the game. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Kawhi, how satisfied are you with your team's performance tonight in this win? Uh, we did a great job tonight. You know, we got to come in every game with the defensive hat on first, and we did that tonight. We made shots, and we, we ended up winning the game. You took it to him when it mattered, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. Thank you for that, David. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now, our player of the game, Kawhi Leonard.